This is an art attack? This is an art attack? This is art attack! <laughs> Here's a good one for you. How do you do a prehistoric cave painting on your own bedroom wall? Newspaper. Come and have a look at this. Take a big double page spread of newspaper, open it out, and then crumple some other sheets of newspaper up very loosely, and just lay them down flat on one side of the newspaper, like that. And then fold your newspaper over like that, and then just go around all of the edges and fold over a thin strip back on itself like that and as you're doing it staple it down it's also a good idea just to fold back the corners and staple them too and when you've gone all the way around your newspaper you'll have something that looks a bit like that it's sort of a paper parcel really and then just gently pat it and get rid of all the big lumps or any excess air in there and that will now be the surface of your cave wall. So then, this is the good bit. This is the messy bit. Take some PVA glue, just the ordinary white school glue in the squidgy bottles, and just carefully pour it on like that, and then brush it all over the surface of your newspaper. Now, I'm using a big brush here, as you can see, but it's a good idea for you just to take some time over this. Use your brush and just make sure you cover the whole of the surface of your newspaper pillow or your cave wall. And when you've completely covered the surface of your cave, just take some sand, great this, watch this, and just pour it all over your cave wall. You can see already it's starting to stick to the glue, like that. And then, immediately, don't wait, immediately just shake off all the excess. Like that. And if there are any bits that you've missed, just dab on some glue, put more sand on there, and then leave it to dry overnight. And when it's dry, it will have gone crispy and hard, and it will look like that. Perfect for doing a cave painting on. And to do your cave drawing or painting, the best thing to use is wax crayon or chalk. Now, to make your drawing look authentic, it doesn't have to be brilliant, because I don't think they were very good artists in those days. Obviously, they didn't want your art attack. And they were quite fond of doing hunting scenes and animals and people, so just do a very simple animal. Oh, and if your crayon breaks, don't worry. It means you've got two of them then. And you can always do some stick people in, because again, they weren't that good at drawing people. So just put some stick people in, one there, one there, I think. And maybe some arrows flying through the sky. And even a sun in the corner. And then to colour it in, well again, they didn't have many colours, so the best thing to do is use earthy colours like browns, reds, oranges, and just going over the whole of your painting, at least the whole of your horse or wherever it is, buffalo, mammoth, and you can just feel the sand, the grittiness of the sand wearing away your wax crayon as you're doing it. And maybe just a bit of yellow there for the sun. Some green grass, just a bit on the floor, and finally, just a little bit of blue for the sky. And again, I'll say, just keep your drawing very basic, and there it is, a prehistoric cave.